All right, ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? Welcome back to the Unhinged Curtis Price channel. In today's video, we are indeed going to be talking about a variety of things. A blast from the past, and also a problematic YouTuber that desperately tries to create more drama. And those A-class freaks are Anision and Gabi Hanna. Now, if you aren't aware, I actually made one or two videos on Anision over a year ago. And let's just say it was a dark pit full of shit. And I'm holding a fake tit. Look at that. <laughs> and today, we shall be revisiting that pit and showing you all where he is one year later. For example, Example, and Anissa's channel was actually demonetized. Well, isn't that a bloody surprise? And for Gabi Hanna, well, I've seen enough GB on my timeline recently that it makes me want to reincarnate as a sperm whale and live in a Gabi Hanna free ocean. Wow, 33 inches. <laughs> that could kill someone. And I'm not talking about the body length either. However, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's fair to start with one topic at a time. Dissect each situation as I usually would. If you have been watching me for a decent amount of time, then you'd know that this is my first video where I talk about more than one person. So support is greatly appreciated. So smash like, subscribe so we can get to 80,000. We're literally 100 subscribers away. And of course, comment for the algorithm. And let's dive in to the first topic of today's video. <laughs> So, welcome to the fuckery love fest, which is an Isyan. A man who's accused of manipulation, grooming, abuse, rape, and many more things. So, who is he? Well, he is the man who belongs on an island by himself. A man who made a fake iMessage contract to impose fear on others. Hey, beautiful people, here is our contract we all agree to. Always be honest. Never let jealousy negatively impact our relationship. Never use manipulative language. Never partake in illegal activity. Express all issues that come up directly with the person we have an issue with. Do our very best to stay positive. If you agree, please respond with, I agree. Wow, Anision. Wow. Honestly, ladies and gentlemen, writing a very real contract and breaking all six of your own rules is on a new level of unhinged that I've never seen. <laughs> you can't follow your own rules, then why even fucking write the contract in the first place? But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, as we know, Anision did indeed have his entire channel totally demonetized. He released a goodbye video claiming it was the end. However, just he just returned a couple of months later. Hey, it's just like the Vampire Diaries. No one ever truly stays dead. But recently, he's just been doing his own thing, making meme videos. Fair enough, I have nothing to complain about. However, the Anision documentary which Discovery Plus created is absolute ass. Big fat juicy ass. Oh no, that's uh, that's a good thing. But even still, episode 4 has just been released and it's about Sarah sharing her side on the situation. Which, by the way, from the beginning, Sarah didn't want any part of it. Chris Hansen even claimed that whoever doesn't want to be involved with the documentary will not be added in the slightest. But they continued to do that in previous episodes, and this is due to the fact that Chris Hansen only cares about himself. Wow, Chris, for someone who claims to do the morally right thing, you have fucked moral, my friend. Is that it, you might ask? Well, no. As Chris Hansen decided not to only take down Anision, but every other commentary channel who criticized Chris Hansen. He has demonetized the main YouTube channels of Gregory James Jackson Onision. It should also serve as a warning to those who exploit YouTube, who use targeted harassment and misinformation campaigns, because the spotlight is now on you. Nice one, Christopher. Nice one. Remember that moment, ladies and gentlemen? That goosebump moment where the host of To Catch a Predator was coming after Anision? We all literally thought Anision was done. He interviewed many YouTubers, and those YouTubers actually fed Chris a bunch of information on the Anision situation. And he rolled off all of that information until he had milked the teat enough to the point where he turned on almost every single commentary channel involved. You're a real man, Chris. A real good chap who can no longer fap. You old wrinkly twat. But yes, apparently Chris Hansen claims that we are the next chance to be demonetized. His next target on the list. Hi Chris. I've always loved your stuff. Perhaps you'd be interested in a, an intimate night. <laughs> no. Uh, oh God. Oh God, I love you Chris. I love you. So, Gabby Hanna. Where in the flying fuck do I begin? So if you aren't aware, I've actually made a few videos on Gabby Hanna now. It's probably worth checking out just for some context, and I'm sure you'll enjoy them. However, recently, once again, Gabby Hanna has been exposed by your old best friend, Jesse Smiles. Who, if you didn't know, was actually raped by your ex-boyfriend, Curtis Lepore. Curtis Lepore? <laughs> who? I suppose you're referring to Curtis Lepore. Shite. Curtis Price. 
always wins, baby. But obviously, jokes aside, this was a very disgusting and disturbing thing to happen. She had to deal with that trauma and her bestest, most loyal friend, Gabby Hanna, supporting her. Now, you might be asking, what did Gabby Hanna do to support Jessie? Well, since we're laying our cards on the table, uh, Gabby Hanna went to hang out at a party with her best friend's wrist. You disgust me. Well, Gabby, you're a fucking great friend, aren't you? <laughs> Just as understanding as my pet rock. That motherfucker never listens to me. He just sits there, staring at me all day. You know what? It's gonna be okay, Curtis. Would be nice to you once in a while. <laughs> but, Gabby, for you to hang out with your ex's best friend's ex-boyfriend, who is a rapist, is definitely one of the lowest things you can do. And that's why recently, ladies and gentlemen, Jesse Smiles has decided to expose Gabby Hanna with a phone call she had recorded when the events happened. And in those recordings, might I say it's revealed Gabby Hanna's final form. She's evolved over the years from being an influencer to now someone who seeks drama, doesn't understand anyone, calls everyone a bully, even though she's a massive hypocrite, and also destroys anyone in her past. So let's take a look at this monstrosity, shall we? This is what you told me. You hung out with Curtis's friends. Curtis was there, pulled you to the side, told you, I'm so sorry I was mean to you. I can't believe what Jesse did to you. You FaceTimed me right after our first fight because I genuinely dead ass do not know how people knew about it. I and why'd you pick up to him? I didn't have the number saved. That's the first situation was a FaceTime call. The second situation was when we were at an event and he tried to take a selfie with me and I was like, no, it's not happening. And then the event that I'm assuming you have to be talking about is when I was at um, 1600 Vine and then he came there. I think I was at Lele's. And then he showed up and I was like, oh, fuck no. He tried to talk to me and pull me aside yes. there. Yes. Yeah, but that's not, that's a completely different situation that's not that's literally months and months later you were at a place w with his friends he showed up and pulled you to the side i said that you hung out with curtis's friend curtis was there pulled you to the side i said, said that said that as the way that it all went down i also didn't hang out with like his friends you I admitted to it people who knew curtis i think i was at lele they all lived in the same building yes me. and he showed up and pulled you to the and side Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you think that was bad, her making constant excuses, well, wait until you hear the next part. Gabby Hanna apparently claimed that her viewers are the ones who are being most affected, not Jessie, who was a victim of rape and abuse and suffered with years of trauma. I mean, seriously, how far up your rectum do you have to be to say shit like that? Listen, I know you lost your leg a few years ago, and I know your life divorced you, and I know you're mad at me because I fucked her just before she left you but the people that's witnessing you be angry at me are the real people suffering for fuck's sake please gabby it's time to go to bed love let's keep this offline and just sue me and we'll see where, what happens in court and then we don't have to bring our followers through this we don't have to bring our fans through this and we get to the bottom of what's been you know hurting you just sue me and then we won't have to bring our fans into this that I'm more interested in bringing my fans into it because those are the ones who are infected. But they, I don't want your money, Jesse. I, I do I, not want your money. I'm not saying. I don't want it. I'm literally saying, like, I think your fans are affected too because yes, this they is. They're, I mean, like, I see your live streams and I was worried. You should be. I'm fucking suicidal. I'm sorry. I'm and really I sorry. Have to continue to do this because I. Can't no, that's why we shouldn't. I don't. Want, yeah, I don't want to. Not helped me. I still have to clear my name, so I have to like keep doing this. You are narcissistic abusers. And you have been for six fucking years, Jesse Smiles. This is the craziest shit I have ever seen in my life. And the problem with Gabby is that things only ever seem to get worse and worse, ladies and gentlemen. What will Gabby do next? That right there is a TV show title. Well, actually, Gabby decided that she is entitled to an apology from Jesse because of all the shit she's been through. What happened, Gabby? Tell us, did you make 11 grand instead of 12 this month? Don't forget, she is saying this to a victim of a disgusting, unforgivable action. What apology does Jesse possibly owe you? And I also want you to work on a public statement 
and then we can work on it together. I want a public apology that that should never have been made public. That's not going to happen. So I, I understand. Okay, so then we keep going. I'm not doing anything with you. Like, I'm not. Like, this is not, you okay, say we keep going. I'm keep going then. I publicly apologize for a situation that should have been private. So I think mm. that it's only fair that you can also extend that same courtesy to me, considering what I've been through. Aren't you the friend I've always wanted? <laughs> and for some reason, Gabby has just got herself in this continuous mess. But I'm a commentary channel. It's what I do. I talk about people's mistakes. I'm not a drama channel, you know, who exaggerates everything completely over the top about a TikToker shading another TikToker. <gasps> <coughs> Please don't tell me Addison Ray shaded Bryce Hall. Oh my god! And I also feel like the majority of drama channels are very anger fueled content. Um, and I prefer to, you know, watch someone who doesn't really give a fuck about what's happening. But before we end this video, ladies and gentlemen, hit the like button. If we get 2,000 likes on this video, I'll read a deep dive into Gabby Hanna, alright, and her recent actions. Um, I like doing the deep dive videos, um, I like doing the editing, and I enjoy doing the whole, like, investigation shit. Oh, crap, I just banged my microphone. Sorry. What will I bang next, huh? <laughs> also, subscribe and join the channel membership, and I'll see you all in my next video. Peace out. Freaks. I'm sorry, I didn't mean that. Just, you know, I'm sorry. Oh, God. You mad, bro? Uh, yeah. I said, tell me what you mad for.